there's kind of a lot of different dynamics at play that really explain how we got to this point. Remember guys, it was only one week ago, simpler times you might say, that the president made the point that healthcare is really, really complicated. It is, in fact, and while he said nobody knew that at the time, pretty much everybody knows that on Capitol Hill, which has explained why you've seen a lot of the behind-the-scenes maneuvering before the actual release of this repeal bill with elements of replace. It's not a full repeal and replace. It's, full, it's repeal as much as they possibly can under the budget rules, and then pieces of replace. Here's what's actually happening behind the scenes. There are two House committees that will be moving forward on this package in the days ahead. They have been working through the weekend, days and nights, over the last couple of days trying to get specific elements right, elements that will pacify unruly conservatives, that will mollify moderates that are very concerned about what this could mean for their election going forward, but also, most importantly, creating a bill that will cover as many people as possible for as low a price as possible, which is very difficult coming in the wake of Obamacare, which, of course, they're trying to get rid of. Here's what happened over the last couple of days and why it's important. On Friday at the White House, Mick Mulvaney, the budget director, held kind of an all-staff meeting trying to get everybody on the same page on how the process is going to work going forward. Sources who are familiar with that meeting tell me it was a very important meeting, a clarifying meeting as they start this legislative process. That was followed on Saturday by a conference call that included Speaker Ryan, HHS Secretary Tom Price, Mick Mulvaney, Andrew Brimberg, who's kind of the policy director over at the White House, as well as the committee chairman of the two committees that will be moving on this. And guys, why this is all important is everyone has to be on the same page if they're going to move forward with this. This can't just be Speaker Ryan's plan. This can't just be a committee chair's plan. They need to know that President Trump, Vice President Pence, Health Secretary Tom Price are all in line with them. Now, what I'm being told is in the wake of this weekend, they do feel like they're in a good place in terms of having a unified front going forward. But what's most important here? The legislative process is actually starting, and that's when things get really complicated. It gets really complicated in, inside the Republican conference. And one thing is very true. As you talk about the rank and file who are concerned about what is actually in this bill, that rank and file is not all in line. They are not all unified. Those are the issues that are going to have to be addressed in the days ahead to even get this process started, guys, let alone across the finish line.